Good evening, everybody. I'm glad that you are here to join me with my class tonight. My name is Janice Booth. I am a doTERRA respiratory wellness advocate, and tonight we're going to talk about aromatherapy and your sleep. You're going to see me look at my notes a little bit. I get a little carried away when I talk about aromatherapy, so I keep my notes handy. So that way I stay focused and I respect your guys' time for joining me. So tonight we're going to correlate how to use essential oils for your sleep hygiene. There's three different ways you can do that. You can use a diffuser, which looks just like this. This is my doTERRA pedal diffuser. I have it on all the time, in the morning, afternoon, anytime I'm home, especially when I'm sleeping. And what I really like about this diffuser is that it has a light on it so you can turn the light on or you can turn the light off. You also can set it for a certain hour so if you want it to run for an hour, two hours, or four hours. You can set it for four hours. If it runs out of water it will automatically turn off on its own so it's great for a kid's bedroom. They're really safe. It's medical grade plastic, so you don't have to worry about the essential oils uh, deteriorating the plastic, and it lasts a really long time. Another way we're gonna talk about essential oils is putting it on topically. And topically can be using any oil in a roller ball like this. This is my Clary Calm. I use this anytime I'm gonna go live or talk to people. I get a little nervous when I do public speaking, but what's really great about a roller ball and using it topically is it's already mixed with a carrier oil. It has a roller ball on the top, and you can just put it on, you just roll it on your wrist, just like this. Uh, you can put it behind your ears and on your neck. That's just another way of aromatherapy. And then the other way that you can use essential oils is internally. You can put them in a capsule. You can add them to water. I usually, um, I add it to a ceramic or a glass cup, add some warm water, and just drink it like it's a tea. Um, give me a second, my helper is having a problem. So the three different ways that you can use your essential oils is topically, through a diffuser, or internally. Majority of the oils we're going to talk about tonight you can use internally and I will let you know of the couple that you can't. So again, my name is Janice Booth. I am a doTERRA respiratory wellness advocate. I um, teach patients or people how to use essential oils for respiratory conditions and for healthier sleeping habits. So the reason that many people use doTERRA essential oils is because they're pure. There's no fillers in them. The plants are grown in their natural habitat. There's nothing in them that can irritate the respiratory system and that is what I looked for when I started using essential oils. I wanted nothing to irritate the respiratory system, no triggering any um, bronchospasms for asthma or chronic bronchitis. They are the purest oils that you can possibly get. Another reason that people will use doTERRA essential oils is because you have access to an advocate like I do. You have someone to ask questions to. Once you order your oils, that person is designated to you. So when people start using oils from me, I'm always available to them. You have access to me in a text message, email, you can call me. So you're not learning how to use these oils on your own. I always have online classes like this. I usually try to do them twice a month. And you can also schedule a class for me to come into your home and we can talk to you and your friends or we can just do one-on-one. -on -one. So that's a reason that people really like doTERRA as company is because you're not out there trying to search for your remedies and how to use the oils on your own on the internet. And that can become very overwhelming, especially if you don't know where to start. 
So that's really important to remember with doTERRA oil is you're not just getting an amazing product, but you're also getting a person that can help you. Another reason that people are using doTERRA essential oils to help with sleep is because they've usually tried everything else on the market. They have tried sleeping pills. They have tried um, home remedies from their grandparents. They have tried everything. And this is usually the last resort, but it's the best resort because these are natural and they will help you. They don't just focus in one area. The oils usually benefit everything in your whole body and that's what makes them amazing. Our customer service is great too. If you decide that you don't like a product, you just reach out to customer service. You can email them, you can call them, and you can even have instant messaging, a live chat with them. If you don't like the product, you can return it for a credit, or you can have your money put back on your card. You just let them know and they'll help you. It's an amazing company and I think you will really like it. So the first oil we're going to talk about tonight is one that we refer, refer to as the king of oils. And this is frankincense. And this is him right here. Frankincense is amazing. It helps with mental fatigue. It helps with focus. If you've had a really hard, stressful day, it's great to help bring down your anxiety levels. It helps clear your mind. I love putting a drop of frankincense under my tongue. It just helps remove that cloudiness that I'm feeling, especially at the end of the night. When I come home and you still have cooking and cleaning and you have the kids and all you really want to do is go to bed, this helps. It will also help clear your mind to help you get ready for bed. It's great to put in the diffuser and you can use it topically too. It's one of my favorite oils. Another amazing oil is lavender. Right here. Lavender you can take internally. You can put in the diffuser and you can use it topically. It's great to help reduce any anxious feelings, anything that, um, and allergies too. So you can use frankincense, uh, lavender, lemon, and peppermint. And if you have a hard time with congestion or breathing oh I guess you guys can see it like this you can take the three of these internally as like a Benadryl or a seasonal allergy capsule and it'll help decrease the swelling in your sinuses and help open up your airway so that you can breathe without all the congestion it also is great to put in a diffuser and you can put it topically too it's a wonderful mixture you can even add frankincense to it if you want for the benefits and frankincense now before i continue with any more oils you know 36 percent of our time we're sleeping and that's a lot of our time 19 percent of our daily time is through daily activities and 16 percent of our time is resting so 36% of that time, if you're not sleeping, your body is not able to rebuild itself, to rejuvenate itself. If you think about the time that you do sleep, how much of it is restless? How much of it do you wake up feeling fatigued or feeling tired? You know, sleep deprivation is one of those ways that they use in torture to beat people down because it messes with our mentalness and our physical bodies. So sleep, if you have symptoms of sleep deprivation, you may find it hard to struggle with everyday activities. Your immune, um, your immune system can be suppressed so you can get sick more often or easily because your body's not able to rebuild itself during the sleep time. Struggles with your metabolic system which means that you're not able to lose the weight as fast as you want or you just feel sluggish or you have excess fat in your belly area sleep deprivation also increases blood pressure it also includes your um, high blood sugar it increases the fat around the waist and you have abnormal cholesterol and triglycerol levels. All of those symptoms 
put you at risk for heart disease, stroke, and type 2 diabetes. These are very serious symptoms, and these are things that can develop when you're not sleeping like you should. How do we cope with sleep deprivation? Think about what you do on a daily basis. We drink caffeinated drinks, we increase our carbonation and our carbohydrates, and we eat a lot of products that have sugar in them because those are the items that give us energy to help us get through the day. They're not healthy for us. I do have to say I'm a coffeeaholic, so that one is a hard one for me to deal with. So why is sleep so important besides the fact that it helps keep us healthy? It also helps us process information. Our brain needs to rest at night. That's how it clears one day out to let another day in. It also helps us process our emotions. For me, when I get overly emotional or overly stimulated, I need to sleep. And that's how I process my thoughts and my decisions. Our, that's how our body also removes waste. It also replaces our energy and our reserves. We help rebuild our metabolism, which is very important. We help develop memories. It allows our brain to regulate growth, and in children, that's a very important. And it also helps repair our bodies. Those are important for all of us in our daily living. And essential oils, like the ones that I've already showed you, they help relax, calm, our minds and our bodies and that's what will lead to a good night's sleep. So we've already talked about frankincense and we talked about lavender. Now let's talk about lemon. Many people wouldn't correlate lemon with a good sleep. But what if your stomach's bothering you? What if your digestion system or your metabolic system isn't working correctly? Then you don't sleep very well. So lemon helps with that. Lemon is also one of the ones that I showed you you can mix with the, lemon, with the lavender and the peppermint for allergies. It helps detox our body while we're sleeping. It also helps build our immune system. It helps, it's an uplifter and it helps decrease our stress. Very important for our systems. And then our next one is melaleuca. And how do we correlate melaleuca? with sleeping. Well, melaleuca, you also know as tea tree oil. It is also great for seasonal allergies too. You can put this in the diffuser. Our melaleuca you can take internally and you can use topically. It helps support our immune systems. It's a builder. Think of it like this. When you get a scrape or your kids get a scrape, what's the first thing you go to? It's usually neosporin or peroxide. Well, replace it with the tea tree oil. It helps build our immune system. So while we're sleeping and our body's trying to rebuild and rejuvenate, melaleuca helps with that. It helps, it just helps our body. Sorry guys, I've been <clears throat> with a sore throat today. And let's say that you have some, um, like itching or a rash or something that's keeping you from sleeping. Melaleuca is great for that too. So, so far, we've talked about four oils. We have frankincense, lavender, lemon, and melaleuca. All four of them you can use in the diffuser. All four of them you can take internally, and all four of them you can put on you topically. So, so far we have four amazing oils to help you. Now the next one is oregano. Oregano is mother's antibacterial. It's like an antibiotic. So when you're sick, you don't usually sleep very well. You're tired and your body wants to sleep, but what's the quality of it? So to help your body rejuvenate, help your respiratory system get back to normal, help your immune system to stay strong and to be stronger, oregano is amazing for that. You can mix it in your diffuser. I like to mix lemon and oregano together. I like the smell. You can take oregano and take it internally, and you can also use it topically. You can rub it on your chest. You can 
You can do almost everything with oregano. It's amazing. I actually want to smell it. Oregano you can also use to cook with. So you you have so much going on for this. So don't forget, it helps support our immune system, our respiratory system. It helps us get healthier when we have colds. And it also helps with muscle aches. I almost forgot about that. So if you have any inflammation and it's keeping you awake, oregano will help with that too. Then our next one is peppermint. The one that most people know of the most. And I have to say so far it's right up there with one of my favorites. Peppermint helps open up the airways. So if you have congestion, seasonal allergies, I love to put just a little bit under my nose before I go to bed. I mix it with the lemon and the lavender and the diffuser while we go to sleep to help open up our L-rays. And it helps me when I wake up where I don't have a lot of congestion in my sinuses. Peppermint also just helps build our respiratory system to help keep us healthier. It's great for our digestive system. When you're hot, many people don't sleep very well when they're hot. Peppermint is a cooling oil. So you can put, mix it with some coconut oil and you can rub it on your foreheads. You can rub it on your chest. You can put it on your feet. Another one of my favorite is to put it in a glass spray bottle and just spray it on yourselves. So even in the summertime, it's a great oil to help cool you off so you have a nice, comfortable body temperature to sleep with. It also helps with stomach aches. So if you ate too much or if you ate late at night and you're not sure if you're going to be able to go to sleep, peppermint is an amazing one to use. And all of these are safe for kids, all the ones that we've talked about so far. Now breathe. Breathe is the number one top oil that I use. It is my favorite. It's our respiratory blend. I think they created it for all respiratory therapists out there. This is a mixture of different oils. So there's several single oils that they mixed in here. This is amazing to rub on your chest. So if you have a lot of congestion, you can also use it along with your peppermint. Put it on your chest, rub it underneath your nose, rub it on your feet. It helps open up the airways. It's very... Um, a lot of people refer to it as Vicks. It kind of smells like Vicks, but it's healthier for you. It's better for you. My son uses it in his diffuser every single night to help with his allergies. I use it in my diffuser when I don't use the lemon, lavender, and peppermint. It just depends on my mood. Breathe helps support our respiratory system and our immune systems. So it's helping our bodies build and get stronger and stay healthier while we're sleeping. It helps with any respiratory conditions. So if you have any chronic respiratory conditions and you notice that it gets worse as you're sleeping or it keeps you awake, Breathe is a go-to oil. Already pre-mixed with all many different other oils and it just gets in there and it does what it's supposed to. Just so you know, the reason that I love essential oils for respiratory conditions is because one drop of essential oils is more potent, has more oxygen, it's more po oxygen concentrated than what the plants give off on their own. It's a concentrated source of oxygen in here. So it gets into the cells and it helps rebuild them. It just goes through the outer, the outer walls of our um, member, our new, can't think of the word I want to use, or gets into the nucleus in our cells and helps rebuild and keep us healthy. It also gives us a sense of a restful sleep. It helps promote a good night's sleep. It's safe for kids. You cannot take breathe internally. It's only to diffuse and use topically. But you'll like it. And breathe is also good for any anxiety that you may have at the end of the day, too. Now our next one. This one is good to take internally, topically, and in a diffuser. And this is Digestin right here. 
This is what we call our tummy tamer, our digestive blend. It helps with um, if you have any bloating, any gas, occasional indigestion, um, cramps. So if you notice that you get cramps at the end of the day from overeating, digestion helps with that. Constipation, that can keep you awake too. So if your digestive system isn't in line, your respiratory sleep or your respiratory system isn't going to be on the same level. And that means your sleep quality is not going to be as good. You, um, It has a smell of fennel. So it's really sweet. It's okay to put on kits too. Just make sure you dilute it. It is a mixture of several different oils. It's one of our blends, just like our Breathe is. If you find that you or waking up a lot and that you're hungry or that you're craving foods, try just opening the bottle and smelling it. Or put it in your diffuser, it'll help too. And then another one of our blends, and I know that this is a lot of our favorites, this is On Guard. Right here. On Guard is called our protective blend. And how is this gonna help you sleep? Well. If you have a sore throat, you can drink it in some warm water. And because these are warm oils, it will help soothe your throat. If you are fighting any kind of cold, it help open up your airways, just like Breathe and the Peppermint does. It also helps build your respiratory and your immune system. So don't forget, the reason that sleep is so important to us is that is how our bodies rejuvenate. That is how our bodies stay strong. That is how our bodies keep us healthy. And these essential oils get in there and they are a line of defense to help us and our bodies while we're sleeping. It's also great for cleaning. I know that sounds weird, but this is Instead of using Lysol or Clorox wipes, you can use On Guard and hand sanitizer. So the more you remove chemicals from your body, the easier it is going to be for you to breathe and the easier it is going to be for you to sleep too. It helps with any um, viruses that you may pick up or that you're trying to work through or any bacterial infections. You can take this internally, you can use it topically, and you can put it in the diffuser and it's safe for kids too. I do have to say that if you're using any of the oils topically on kids, you should mix it with a carrier oil to make sure there's no skin ir irritations. If you have sensitive skin, always mix it with a carrier oil. It helps the oils not to evaporate off your skin as fast and you can cover more skin with the oil than you can than just using it without. It doesn't hurt the oils, it just helps keep it on your skin longer. And then our last one that we're gonna talk about tonight is Deep Blue. Deep Blue is our soothing blend. So if you like to work out in the evenings and you have sore muscles or you have any arthritis or joint pain, Deep Blue is amazing. This size right here is an essential oil. It does come in a cream that you can put on that's like a lotion. You can put the oil in the diffuser and it helps open up the airways. It has a very minty smell, kind of like a breathe-in peppermint. You can put it on your chest. I've done that several times to help open up my airways. You can rub it on your hands. It's also great for any head tension. So if you're one that in the evenings you always know that you're gonna deal with any head discomfort or head tension, that's a perfect time to start using the Deep Blue. If you have any chronic pain, Deep Blue will help relax those muscles and prepare you to go to bed. It's an amazing oil to use. Now you can get these oils into your home in a couple different ways. You can order them individually or you can order them in a kit. And all these oils that I showed you tonight, I'm gonna to show you two of my favorite kits. The first one is the Home Essential Kit. This kit comes with the diffuser that I showed you, all of these essential oils in these full-size bottles, and let me show you what I'm talking about. So this is a full-size bottle right here. 
and this is what I call a sample bottle. The only one in this kit that comes in the smaller bottle is the deep blue because that's how it's made. But in this home essential kit, all of them come in the full size bottle. This kit is $275. So don't forget that with that, you get a diffuser, you get 10 full size bottles of essential oils, plus one smaller one of the deep blue. The kit that I started with, my what I call my sampler kit, is the Family Essential Kit. Right here. Oops, sorry, that was pretty close. This kit is 175 or 150, I'm sorry. And it comes, all of them come in this smaller sampler bottle size right here. It's perfect for people who are not sure how they want to get started or how to even start using them. So you have the Home Essential for the one who's ready for aromatherapy. You get the diffuser, all the bottles in this large size except for the deep blue. And then you have the Family Essential Kit right here, which is the sampler kit. Both of them with all of those oils. Now, if you're ready to get started with your journey of being able to sleep better, I posted in the event the link to my site and you also are able to message me if you have any questions. Don't forget, anytime you order through me, you not only are you getting products, but you're getting access to me so that I can help you. We will always talk so that way if you have any questions, I can help you with it. So you're not just buying products and never hearing from me again. Essential oils are amazing to help people get a good night's sleep. A good night's sleep helps our bodies so much. Don't forget, 36% of our time, we are sleeping. That is an amazing amount of time that our body needs to heal and to rejuvenate and stay healthy. And we need to do the best we can to make that a quality time for our bodies so we're not tired so we're not as stressed out, so we can process our thoughts, so we can be with our families, so we can do the things that we want to. 19% of our time during the day is activities. And 6% of it, I'm sorry, 16% of it, we're resting. Our bodies need quality time to rest, to sleep, to rejuvenate. So if you have any questions, you can reach out to me. I am on YouTube. I'm on LinkedIn. I have my Facebook page. And I'm on Pinterest. And all you have to do is search for Janice Booth, doTERRA Respiratory Wellness Advocate. And I will be here to help you. Thank you for joining me tonight. I hope you guys have a good night. And I hope this helps you guys with any health or sleeping problems that you may have. I will also post this class up in YouTube so you guys can review it later. So I hope you have a good night. Bye.